love me. You love me because I'm Kobe. Because I'm a five-time champion. Because I'm one of the greatest to step on the court. But you shouldn't. You should hate me. Hate me. Because I gave you 4 a.m. Because I pushed you when no one else would. Hate me. Because I demanded greatness. And greatness demands everything. Love me when you become greater. You don't burn out mentally because you always burn out physically. The differential of somebody winning and losing has nothing to do with their genetics, has nothing to do with their potential. You're gonna feel this soreness you've never felt before. It's supposed to be that way. It means you're using muscles you haven't used before your body's waking up. Sharpen your arsenal for perfection of what you can be. But if you didn't know that, mentally, you didn't prepare for that. You think something's wrong, maybe it's time to stop. No, it's time to move free and further. And even though you go to the gym, you put your time in there, you check the box. Yeah, I went to the gym, man, all good. You come back around, you look in the mirror, man, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing any change yet. No. Well, because you haven't pushed yourself for your body to have a reason to change. If I gave a balanced effort to something, day in, day out, I saw no change, I'd probably quit too. When you embark this journey, you must know that it's going to go down before it comes up. And when it comes up, it's going to go so much higher than you've ever been. Sacrificing the day for tomorrow. I couldn't hold myself up. Hit the, hit the pavement. I'm okay with that. Because tomorrow I'll get back up and do it again. And I'm going to try to beat my last performance in life. It's not the genetic guy who wins. It's the guy with the most potential that wins. It's the person with the greatest perseverance that wins. Always willing to get up and go at it again and go at it again. That's the guy who has his hand raised later in life, guys. That's the guy you guys need to be. Record everything, what you eat, your training habits, how you feel. You take a picture of yourself from day one, you put it on the mirror. That's who I'll never be again, that's day one, say goodbye to him. Behind that picture, you write down your weight, your height, all your information, your body fat. Take, take measures around your arms, your waist, your thigh. Record where you've been. And when the struggle gets hard, you feel like you're not going anywhere. You go back to that day one, we measure it. It's not an easy path. Ninety days out, man, I'm gonna run a marathon. 90 days out, I'm gonna enter a bodybuilding contest. 90 days out, this family reunion, high school reunion, I'm gonna look my best. 90 days to become that person I wanna be. To turn that dream into a reality, I got 90 days. Today is 190th of that opportunity. You guys find a fear, that fear will either create you or destroy you. I love fear, and the reason why, behind every fear is a person you wanna be. Fear is self-imposed, meaning it doesn't exist. You create it, you can destroy it too. It's an intangible. If you face your fears, guys, you will realize it's not that big. And once you face it, you go, oh my God, man, I spent all this time running from it. It was so small. If I just faced it, my God, not only did I face it, I beat it back. Energy's never lost, transferred. That negative energy, that fear, is destroyed. It comes back in its confidence. Like, what else am I, what else am I capable of? What else am I holding my back from that I'm capable of more? What am I running from I don't need to? What else can I overcome? You go after it. You give it all you have. If you lose, at least you try, man. I fail. It's ten times more of a man than someone said, what if? Because what if never went to the arena?